Hey, what's going on everybody? Dopamine and Balance here, and today we're going to review an old car. You might have forgotten about this one, the Coquette Classic. Let's get into it. Okay, boys, so first thing you need to do, you need to head on over to Legendary Motorsport, go to Two Door, and it's going to be way at the bottom. Somewhere down here, way at the bottom. This thing is all the way down here for a reason, because it is an old vehicle in the game. And it's coming in free for me. It might cost a little bit to you, probably like 20000 or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the customization. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, we desperately need brakes on this thing. Check out the braking. You know what? It's kind of a free roam vehicle, so let's go ahead and go for the sports. I'm curious to see how bad the uh, brakes are. All right, for front bumpers, I could go... I could. You could put splitters on this. Ooh, wait a minute. Secondary color bumper. Uh, interesting, but I'm not going to do it. Bumper delete. Oh, okay, so it takes off the... Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm not going to do a bumper. I like it the way it is. You can go secondaries, primaries. Uh, you can completely take it off. Interesting. I think... Huh. It actually looks decent. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Uh, for engine, of course. Take that all the way to the top. This is actually surprisingly fast, even though this is an OG vehicle. When by OG, I wouldn't say, you know, it's definitely, I've never seen this, and it's not in story mode, I know that. But uh, it's definitely been in online for a long, long time. A side exit exhaust, of course. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but I think I'm going to stick to, I could keep it stock. It ain't so bad. I could uh, get chrome tips, and I could get race exhaust. I think actually it would look pretty good with the side exits. I'm going to go ahead and get side exits, and for hood, we can get some color variations. Not too much in the way of customization with this vehicle. We can already tell that. Obviously, I'm not going to change the hood. I like it the way it is for horn. Uh, I'm going to go for something a little bit, something a little bit loud. Okay, never mind. I, I, I'm just not going to go for a horn. Uh, for liveries. Oh, so this actually has liveries. Okay, let's check out the liveries real quick. Okay, interesting. They come. They start up from that uh, indention in the hood. The vent. And then you got this. And you got uh, American, American might. Uh, red flames, blue flames, shark bite. Cool. Those are on a couple of vehicles, muscle cars. Oh, interesting. I've seen this before. So these are kind of generic. I mean, I've seen, yeah, two-tone racers, seen that before on other vehicles. A lot of uh, liveries that have been on other vehicles. So that's kind of, that stinks, but it is what it is. I like the license plate as is for color. Uh, I think we're going to keep the color the same. Secondary, I wonder what, who knows? Uh, can't see it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can put a, definitely not going to do that. This is a classic muscle car. Actually, uh, this might not be muscle at all this could be sports we're gonna have to check that when we get out uh no roof oh you can take the roof off that's cool that's actually pretty cool and i actually like the way it looks when you take the roof off that's pretty dope and that's a big like it takes off a good bit too it completely removes that back in the trunk huh yeah so like it makes the trunk the trunk remains but it's smaller yeah interesting i like it um, man, I've never really been wanting, I've never really looked at it and been like, oh yeah, I want the convertible, but honestly, the convertible looks great. There's actually some difference in that. Of course, we're going to get that transmission for turbo. I'm not going to do it because this thing, I know it's going to sound amazing and the turbo will just ruin the sound. Uh, for rims, definitely need to change the rims. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go for muscles and a chrome. I'm gonna go chrome because it's gonna look so much better, with a little bit more flair. Of course, I wanna get something that looks a bit classical. I could go for revolvers once more, but I don't know if I wanna do it. Barley, okay. Interesting. Didn't really uh, pop out that much, in my opinion. I could go dode, dode man, uh, a little bit too stiff, and uh, not too much in the way of options here, so. Interesting. I could go for crackers, but I don't think that looks good with this thing. 
I, yeah, there's not a lot of wheels that look good with this. Uh, I could go revolver. Those do pop out nicely. Uh, of course, I do like the stock wheels, like the the way it... Uh... Okay, no, I like the tires on the uh, muscle better, actually. So I'm going to make a decision here. So revolvers. Think of, yeah, revolvers. I'm going to go and wheel color. Oh, yeah, tires. So let's see if we can get some tire designs. Uh, yes, we can get some tire designs. Um, drag radials. You know what? I'm going to get some tire designs. I think it looks good with it. Uh, tire smoke, not going to do that. Windows, of course, I could get a little bit of smoke, but let's see the interior. The interior is pretty, pretty basic. The seats, you can tell these are like old gen because, like, yeah, those are like PS3 seats. They're so bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not get any uh, window tint. I think it'll be all right. So... I think that just about does it. We're already done with the customization. Yeah, there's not too much in the way of customization. Uh, I might get myself, like, uh, pearlescent. Yeah, I might shine this up with the pearlescent. I mean, I'm not going to make it candy paint, but I do want a little bit of a shine on this. So I might go for dark steel. I could go for silver, but I think that's too much shine. So dark steel it is, and we're going to go ahead and hit the road. Okay, so let's check out this engine sound, listen to it, and see how it sounds. Alright, sounds good, I like it. Uh, it's kind of old school because, you know, it's not going to sound the best. This thing is an old vehicle. So. But it does sound good. It's aged decently. It's aged well. So we're going to go ahead and drive this thing around. Uh, I'm going to try to get some uh, better roads. The brakes are bad. Yep, the brakes are pretty bad. Uh, definitely sliding around the road for some reason. Uh, is it... Oh, Lester, leave me alone. I know you're in the... I know I'm in the neighborhood. Leave me be. Okay, so... Yeah, it's kind of hard to turn corners. This thing does have a little bit of oversteer. I can already feel that. But that's okay. I mean, it's not too, too bad. Um, it feels decently fast, even to, uh, even to today's standards. This uh, feels fast. Surprisingly so. I mean, you wouldn't expect this thing to feel fast, be fast, but uh, it's still decently fast. But, oh yeah, we were going to check if this is a muscle car. Uh, yes, it is a muscle. If it says sports, uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to listen to that because this is based off a Corvette Stingray, and yeah, this is a straight-up muscle car. Actually, I think the game considers it as a sports car, even though it's like circuit races with this thing. If you're doing a drag race with some friends, this would be something very interesting to bring. This would be fun as heck because like, yeah, it's still like, it's fast. It still has the acceleration. The top speed is really good. Um, the customization... Like I said, you know, it's an old, old vehicle. You know, it's free for me, so this thing's been around since, uh, what was the deal? the CEO update and all that? It's not Criminal Enterprises, but you guys know what I'm talking about with the, uh, UGT on. UGT online people probably know what I'm talking about. You guys have played in a long time. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Finance and Felony, I believe it was called. Could be wrong. Could have been something else. There's a bunch of them. But basically, this is OG as it can get besides story mode. Uh, the car is beautiful, it's just it doesn't have a lot of customization options, obviously. But, the top speed's there, it's still so fast. Look at these speeds I'm taking. Uh, it's got a lot of sliding. Yes, it has oversteer, but it has so much in the way of horsepower, just raw power, that this thing will actually just do a, uh, it'll slide. Like when you hit the brakes, you, you, it's like you're hitting the handbrake. It slides so much. But, I guess that's all there is to do, guys. So, if you like the video, leave a like. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I would say, if I'm going to rank this, I'd say I'd give it a 6 out of 10. It's a beautiful car. That really, I'm kind of biased on that to give it a 6. Uh, somebody else would probably give it lower, and I completely understand. But, um... Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 because it's based off the Corvette Stingray, and that's just awesome. They did a great job with the customization. But uh, anyway, 
yeah, the customization. I don't mean the customization, I mean it's a beautiful car, it resembles the actual in real life counterpart. The customization is where it sucks. There's no customization of this vehicle. Like I said, it's an old vehicle, but the performance is why you'd get this thing. Uh, you would not take this thing on a circuit race. You would get absolutely shredded. But anyways, guys, like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you disliked it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.